Good morning, everybody. My name is Katrina. I'm here to help. I do that by sharing my story through life, my do's and don'ts, to help anybody else in the similar situation as me. Uh, yep. So, um, a week of challenging myself to face my fears. I'm up to the eighth day. Yes. So, yeah. I've been thinking a lot about how to rearrange my life so I can uh, be more free. And what I come up with uh, to do that is to uh, obviously observing my uh, behavior and my thinking patterns and trying to rearrange them as they occur. Uh, when it happens that I do this pattern that doesn't work for me, I re-think about it and next time I enter the situation I do something else that I plan to do. Because that's the way to, for me to change a habit. A habit to set is to take 21 days and set the new habit. And that's also why I wanted to make this challenge 21 days. Yes. To set the new habit for me to get uh, into making a video each day. Uh, to um, lay a platform for me to launch my <laughs> uh, life from. Yes. So that's one way to do it. And in this process, I realized um, with four meditations a day, I get a mere, more objective view on my life and I can uh, implement, change my behavior faster. So that's one way to do it. I actually did have an epiphany in the sauna last night where I identified behaviors from my childhood uh, that wasn't working for me. Um, I'm watching the series uh, Queen Charlotte the Bridgerton story on Netflix. Uh, Netflix, I did watch that one through. And uh, there uh, the Lady Danbury has given a very good example of uh, how the childhood could affect the person's uh, whole way of life. So, when I was a kid, I was supposed to be my mom's little helper, the good girl who uh, was there for everybody else but herself. So, I was instructed in a we think instead of an I think. So, this is also true for Lady Danbury, and this is the breeding of these uh, ladies in society of 17, 1800s that they are supposed to like the same wine as her husband's and she was betrothed as a three-year-old to this older gentleman uh, to be his uh, companion through life. But when he died, she realized that she hadn't taken a breath as she said that was her own, that he hasn't bred before. Uh, she was drinking the same wine and she doesn't even like it just because that was how she was raised. So, uh, in that, uh, I want to thank my mother for making me a good person, uh, but uh, the absence of a father figure uh, or a father figure that was uh, away with his other family, that was not very beneficial for me. So, yeah, so uh, to remove the people pleasing in my life. I have taken this week off uh, from work and I've um, started it out by uh, the sauna last night and also I'm um, gonna watch uh, through a complete series of um, Outlander. I like the time travel and the 
the different perspectives that you can have on life that are introduced when you are confronted with uh, different times and how different people made their choices in different times. So that's one way I relax and get my alpha waves up. Alpha waves is what uh, is um, when you reach a plateau in your brain. You can do it through meditation or as I've done it before by uh, watching a series long enough so I can just detach from the ordinary life. So and then you can feel a relaxation in your brain. That's how it feels for me anyway. And that's highly recommended to um, activate your alpha waves at least once a day, uh, several days a week. And uh, now the commercial is going on on the TV. I have a fire um, on the TV because that's also soothing. And I have been living a place with a fireplace and this is much more effective. <laughs> so check into the uh, Fireplace videos, if you like that kind of stuff. Yep. It's supposed to be soothing and we have been making fire since we became people. Uh, so. Uh, so when I became a person, uh, I was in much of a we think that uh, I was trying to get uh, a group feeling of the everyday life. Uh, now I realize as an adult and as a um, person who likes flexibility and likes to rearrange your life and uh, be free in that sense that my um, happiness in life shouldn't be connected to anything else than just my own happiness. Yeah, and that's a very big step away from uh, the we think. So uh, with that I want to encourage you all to face your fears, objectively observe uh, what uh, the situations are when they come up and then uh, think about one other way to uh, handle the situation or several. So. But it, I think it's good to choose one and, and do that the next time the same situation came, come up. And then uh, if that doesn't work, have a plan B. So now I've implemented this in my daily life and I'm going to stick to it. And with time, uh, I have realized that it doesn't uh, give a resistance. Um, and also with backing it with knowledge. So. The knowledge of that this isn't a working system that I am thinking of the uh, automatic vacuum cleaner I have. He's just pounding the walls when it's not working and then redirecting the roof. So that's uh, an analogy I um, use in my brain. I haven't just uh, formulated it verbally until now, said it out loud. So that's what I'm doing. This is not working, this is not working. And uh, then find another way. So you can get the clear path and uh, do the task to its uh, end. So that's why I'm um, sticking to this challenge. And no matter what, uh, anyone feels about it, this is what I'm doing and I'm sharing it to make an example of how you can do your progress through life. If you like any of this, like and subscribe and share the message to other people. Maybe there is somebody out there who needs to hear this and it's easier to find in all of the mm, content out there. If uh, the channel gets that help. So with that, I want to give you, <laughs> find your alpha waves. No matter how you do it, just feel the relaxation in your brain when you activate them. And then you can think of your life and your uh, challenges more objectively. You can just go in and make another plan for yourself. I don't want to be doing this, so I will be doing this instead. 
and that could help in big and small and take care of you in the first. So what would you say to a friend who are in a similar situation as you are? That's one uh, thought I, uh, I had and when I uh, arrived to a certain uh, situation I used that line in my head. What would you tell a friend? And that suits me because when I'm telling other people stuff to calm them down, that works. So um, that's my we think that I'm replacing to an I think. I think, I feel this is good for me. Put yourself first. So that's the video for today. Now I'm getting into the marathon of watching the new season of Outlander. Uh, so with that, I wish you a good day. Take care. Bye.